Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. To kick off 2023, we have a brand new build on the horizon. Now this launched in 2022, but it is the Moomin uh, house. Create and decorate your Moomin houses. It's brought to you by Diagostini Collectibles, as you can see down there. And I think since the Dolls House uh, took off from Harshet Partworks, um, other publishers are now exploring sort of like doll, uh, dolls' houses and all sorts of things. Um, and it's just wonderful to see another house being done with a totally different publisher. Um, so inside here we've got issue one. I will just show you this little leaflet that we've got, which is about the collection. As you can see, we'll be building this here. Um, in each issue, you will find the instructions for assembling your Moomin house. We have also got lots of charming stories from the magical world of Moomin trolls. So that's fantastic because what I love about magazines is you get the story behind it. And as you can see, with uh, you will get these three gifts. You get a food gifts and stickers. You get a comfort tidying gifts and a legend hobbies gifts. If you upgrade to the premium option for just one pound extra per issue, you do get all of these as well. Um, plus, uh, you get a diorama apparently. Uh, so you will also receive all these exclusive figures to complete your diorama. So you get some extras. I think I'm included on that because I subscribe to this. Um, and then as you can see, you've got this massive poster inside, uh, which basically tells you how you can take this part off. The top comes off. All about the Moomin house there. It's going to be approximately four kilograms in weight, as you can see there. It's really, really, really big. Um, so lovely, lovely issue. Uh, as you can see the first issue that we've got is the number one and that consists of building a bed so we're going to be doing the moomin trolls bed there um really really lovely quality this is and um, we've got a bit of a fact file in there and basically the story behind the moomins there and then that's where it gets into the lovely bits and pieces that we need to do um it's basically broke down into sort of like four parts so you've got the front porch base there and then we sort of move into the bed there as you can see there we do have a little figure as well um which i'll show you in the next issue and um yeah it's going to be a really lovely uh part work i should imagine um, but yeah, let's get to the parts. Now, some of these, when I felt them, if you listen, hang on, I felt metal in them. So you just take this off. Now, we all know that that glue, I mean, this glue could be a bit different, but the one that they provided with the, did, did you hear that metal? Um, the one that they provided with the uh, doll's house is actually a little bit of a poor uh, the run glue um, so in here we've got things like the bed I should imagine we've got sandpaper a nice big chunk of that actually uh, some MDF wood we've got the glue itself I'm not going to personally use that I'm going to bring in my wood glue as you can see um, so I'm going to use that uh, down the line we've got a strip of uh, this is metal that is metal oh wow so we've got metal frame there we've got Oh, how cute is that? Look, you're going to wrap the foam around the mattress cover. That's so cool. And then you've got um, this part. Oh, my God, that's metal. Whoops. That is metal. Oh, wow. High quality or what? So that's obviously the bed part. And then obviously in here, you've got a piece of adhesive tape, which I'm sure we'll use later down the line. And then in here, they've actually taped it into a separate compartment here. As you can see, we've got various bits and components. This is sort of like a bit of an angled part here. So this is going to form up the board, the base, I should imagine. And we'll put them over to one side. So first things first, if we bring it right the way down, what we've got to do, first things first, is we have to get part one, which is, looks like this part here. And what's going to happen is... This little section here, insert part two into part one without gluing. So we don't need to glue that, but basically it's gonna go into there like that. They're both gonna slot into here. Should imagine if it will let me. Now be careful because there is a bit of a notch. As you can see, that groove fits into this little notch here. So you know I said this part's angled, it actually fits and buffers up against that. So that's where we're gonna go. We're gonna start that off like that, as you can see. So that's that part there. After making sure that the parts fit correctly, we're going to take this off 
and apply a bit of adhesive for part two for tips on the on that part there so we're just going to make sure that it once we're happy with that we can put some glue running all the way along there and what i'm going to do is get some of i'm going to get an old diamond painting tray that i've took out of circulation and i'm going to pour some glue into here don't need to knot uh, a lot but just enough and then you might want to get yourself a cotton wool bud because we're going to be basically putting it all around here like that this this feels really cool um it feels so nice to be doing another house okay so once we've done that might be a little bit of excess glue but we can wipe that off later we're then going to put that into position and sandwich that into there like that now, as you can see once that's in place we've got some excess glue running along there so i'm going to take another cotton wool bud and just clear that excess away just clear that off and then i will clear the rest of that off the back okay so that's that part there might just go back over the little blue part there that we got okay so that's that part there done okay the next part what we're going to do is it basically just goes into showing you about glue and stuff like that but we then need to attach another piece which is they basically look like that either side and this is going to be basically going into this little part here and again we need to make sure that it fits in there nice and snug which is a bit of a tight fit but it does go so that's happened i'm happy with that we're going to put a little bit of glue all along there just a tiny bit might be better with a cocktail stick um so we can get one of them if need be and then what we do is we just secure that into there like that and buff up against that and then as you can see we can just take that excess again take the excess glue off okay Take that excess glue off there and just give it a nice always work with a clean cotton wool bud each time because you're going to put glue everywhere otherwise so that's that little part done next we're going to duplicate that on the other side so we're going to put that onto this side as well so just going to get that part here so we've got a little part there all around there and then up there it's always nice when you're working with glue because you don't use it for so long and then you get to use it up. It's it's quite a lovely feeling. <laughs> so we're going to put that into there. So that's that one out of the way. <coughs> and then we're just going to clear that excess off. Turn it round and then clear off the excess up here. Now this will be coming to the channel on a Sunday. Um that's the plan at the moment. I may shift the day um, to that. So what will happen is the, the Moomins will um, take over the shorts. Now, obviously, because we've only got the first two issues, um, you'll have issue two next week. And then what will happen is there might be a short break. So that's where I'll put some more shorts in until the next package arrives. Okay, so that's that little part done, as you can see. Lovely part there. There's a bit more excess glue there. So I might just go back over and take that off okay lovely so once we've done that we've got to then put this section here apart and as you, as you can see we've got guidelines in here and the part that we need is the part six apparently i can see that they're not labeled or numbered so i'm going to go for this part along here because that seems relevant to the part that we're going to put along here so what we need to do is just get your craft knife be very careful and and then in here just break that little contact point there and then it will cut itself off then what we can do is you can either use a file or a bit of sandpaper i'm going to try this groovy sandpaper out i'm going to dry it try this out it's a lovely big sheet i have to say in the doll's house we only got a little bit but just to take that burr off and then what will happen is make sure that's nice and smooth and you just need to go back over Make sure you don't take any of, of the paintwork there. And what's going to happen is that's going to then sit basically alongside here, 
Looks like it just buffers up against that, as you can see, like so. And then we're gonna apply a little bit of glue on each end and secure that on. Uh, okay, I'm just thinking, so it's gonna go on this part, in it? <laughs> so it's a bit glue and another bit of glue on that side as well. And that's gonna, I might put a little bit of rummage down there as well. Just to, don't need a lot. Some people like to tack it, but I like to go the full, uh, the full length. And this really will secure that into there, like so. Okay, lovely. So that's gone on there really lovely. I'm just gonna give that a few minutes to set. And while I'm doing that, I will just cut these parts open. Okay. So as you can see there, are them parts of which we'll use at a later date. I just can't believe that bed is metal. I can't get over that, that is awesome. So we'll just take that excess glue off. Might actually be best with a tissue or something, but I use with, I'm quite happy using um, that. Okay. So that's our little porch done, and that's basically that done. That's all we need to do on that section. So moving for, move, moving over, we then are going to be sorting out the bed. So we're gonna put that to one side, and the next thing we're gonna do is to bring in part nine, which is this part, this is metal. See, I can't believe that, that's awesome. And then we're gonna get part seven. Now, obviously part seven will be shorter than part, whatever that part is, because it's the lower of the bed is always the smallest. And then what's gonna happen is, apparently it clicks into place. So as you can see here, we've got like little grooves and that. And what's gonna happen is it's basically gonna like sandwich gonna go onto there like that and then just hook into place like that it's like a hook mechanism so it slides into these little grooves as you can see it just sort of like slides into position like that okay and then it says the glue will cure instantly so once we've done that we need to apply that with some quick dry glue um, so for quick dry glue we will need to use some I'm going to use, I don't want to use this brush on, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because we need to use as minimal amount as possible, I'm just going to get myself a cocktail stick. Um, if I've got, there we go, that's what I want, yeah. Whoops, come on. Just get a cocktail stick there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bit off the brush because I don't really want an awful lot of glue. Let's get a bit of this gel glue. And then under here it says that apparently it cute. Oh! So I'm assuming they, they mean down here. easier to paint it on the stick and then apparently it just secures it in so I'll leave that for a few minutes I might do a little bit of plot splodge there as well so while that's like that I'll put a little bit of a splodge onto this side And then I'll put a splodge onto that side as well. So while that's gluing, the next stage, what we need to do is it obviously exactly the same at the other end um, with this side. And as you can see, this is, I can't get over how nice this is. This is metal. I can't believe it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So again, it's just gonna slide on them tracks. This one's a little bit of a stiff, that one slides right on, but this one's a bit stiffer, 
which is quite nice. You actually feel like it's actually connected with this one. And then what's gonna happen is just put exactly the same, I should imagine, a bit of glue on each end. And a bit of other glue. I don't want to use a lot, but you know, if it comes back on, you know, if it comes off again, we can always touch it up with a bit more glue. Um, a little bit down there, and then a little bit down there. Okay, so that's our little cute bed, which is very high tech. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so once we've done that, the next part is we're gonna be using a bit of full, um, a bit of uh, sponge effect now. So what's gonna happen is we've got part 11, so we're going to get this part here, Let's make sure that's dry, that is dry. So this is our little mattress part. And what's going to happen is we're going to use this foam. And what's going to happen is that's going to go into there like that. And it's basically going to fold over, fold from left to right apparently. So that's going to fold over there like that. And that's going to fold over there like that, like so. And then, and it says glue them together apparently, so I'm going to use wood glue on that. I don't think we need the high tech glue on that, because that will stick it fine. I can't see that needing super glue, but we can always go back over it if need be. And fold that part, whoops, and fold that part over like that. I think for this bit I will use super glue actually. Oh, trouble if it's with this brush on glue, it gets everywhere. So it's that little part there. And then we're just going to do exactly the same. Um, it says pay attention to the, the bed should look a specific way but I, I'm not fussed um, I will fold it in how I feel looks pretty good that looks pretty nice so put a little bit of glue Oops, doesn't seem to uh, not go on. There we go, let's try again. Hold that there. Uh -oh. Oh. And then that part gets folded down like that. All like that, and then up like that. Lovely. And then I think what you'll find is that that adhesive strip is used to secure it to the board of the bed, I should imagine. Um, but yeah, that's our little bed. <laughs> that's so cute. Okay, so once that's done, the next thing is we're going to put the bottom of the bed in. But before we do that, we need to apply a bit of glue. Now, because this is going on to metal, you will need to use super glue, but they're saying to put a little bit onto each four corners of the bed. So one here, one there, one there, one there. If you're using wood glue, it's not gonna work because it has to be like a high-tech glue for that to work. And then that's gonna go into there. This has got to be the most, I, I've really enjoyed doing this issue. It's so funny. We're building a bed. Oh, wow. And then what will happen is we will put double-sided tape on, which I assume is this little adhesive part that we got here. Um, and what's gonna happen is, yeah, that's that part. That will go onto here like that. And that's going to hold it to the bed. And then what you do is you just peel that 
just peel this. Last time I worked on this was probably R2-D2. It's probably just easier to glue it to the bed. <laughs> but for the purposes of the video, I will... Uh, probably is, I, I don't really have many much nails because I'm a nail biter. I like to bite them off. See if I can get some tweezers on that. I just need just to pick that off a bit. Yeah, there we go. Just gonna get a smaller size there. <coughs> okay, this these tweezers don't want to grip it. Oh man. One thing I hate is double-sided tape. There we go, lovely. Okay, so we peeled that off, as you can see the double-sided tape there, and all that means is that's just gonna stick it to this lovely little bed section there. And there we go, there's our little bed. Now, I'm just gonna go in the other room, that completes this issue, and I'll show you what's coming up in the next issue, because I've left the manual in that room, so just bear with me. So now that that little bed's all done and dusted, this is the little moomin that we get. And basically, he then stands at his bed like that. Like that. Or he can lie in his bed if he wanted to. <laughs> that is so groovy. So that's the moomin bed. And then what we've got coming up next time, which will be next Sunday, um, will be this issue here and basically in this one this is a groovy one because we get to build a tent and a lamp post so this is um snuffkin's tent as you can see and then in here we will have that little part there so we'll have the rest of the porch details being added and then we'll be building like a lamp um with a base for the top of the porch which i suspect will lead up to the front door of the house and then you get to build the tent how cool is that See, finished little tent. That's so cool. Um, but that's coming up next time with the Moomins. As I said, this will be coming to the channel every Sunday. Um, so please remember to like, share, subscribe. If you like what you see, I'll put the link in the description of the video so you guys can subscribe to this. Um, as far as I know, this is just sub only at the moment. I mean, you could ask the news agents. I'm not sure how Diagostini operates for the news agents because they used to be in there and I think they got took out, but... Anyway, anyway, that is the moments. I've really enjoyed that issue. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. Issue 2 is coming up next Sunday. Take care. Bye-bye.